Sometimes they get mad, they get angry. You see a lot of sisters, they go, oh, you fuck, you fuck with this kind of girl or that kind of girl. That shit is exotic. <laughs> Stupid. That shit look a lot different from the shit that you see in the neighborhood all the time. It looks like shit. That shit look like you came off a boat, baby. You don't like that motherfucker. You don't like that? You go, God damn, what's the matter with you? It looks like something foreign. It looks like something that you can't just get. So in some kind of ways, it is interesting to explore. All right, that's 50. And, you know, he said some more things, though, that I, the whole totality of his statement wasn't offensive at all. But if you take that little tidbit, I can see how people could think it was offensive. Just that little tidbit. But the totality of his statement was pretty much well-rounded. And he kind of, like, explained everything he was saying. And he was, like, you know, he was he was just being honest about brothers. Brothers, you know, look. They like, they like red bones, man. You can be exotic and dark skin, and that shit don't mean nothing. They like exotic light skin, okay? Because there's plenty of exotic dark skin women. Ethiopians, Somalians, women from the islands. Women from Fiji, all those little islands out in the Pacific Islands, all those people are dark as night. You know, they like a light skin, exotic. Okay, and they prefer light skinned women, which is interesting that these brothers don't have enough um, self awareness that during this time to not say things like that. When every picture of every rendering of a of a protester or a woman that's protesting or down for the cause is of a dark skinned black woman, every rendering is of a dark skinned black woman. Okay? Of a, you know, woman ducking tear gas and ducking rubber bullets and dark skin. <laughs> but this light skinned woman says something very interesting on or uh, it I don't think she saw I think she she encompasses or basically sums up what's going on in black America when it comes to the dark skin colorism issue. When it just comes to that issue. And she said, light skin doesn't equate to exotic. I've seen several beautiful dark skin exotic women. But the catch is, if they didn't have money, these exotic chicks would pay them no mind. They are both clowns. Now, a lot of people didn't catch that, but I caught it. This woman appears to be in her, you know, early 30s or somewhere in her 30s. Maybe even, you know, pushing 40. And she's only seen, in her entire life, obviously probably living in Blackstown in America, watching TV, movies, <laughs> videos, traveling probably, has only seen several beautiful dark skin chicks. <laughs> And, of course, we know that that's not true. That's her perception. That's what she thinks. Um, but it just goes to show you, like, even when they caping for the dark-skinned chicks, they be, like, on the low, like, <laughs> if you read into it, yeah, I see, man, that's not true. I've seen a couple of dark-skinned chicks in my life. A couple of pretty dark-skinned chicks in my life. <laughs> Y'all colorist men need to stop this crap. I've seen a few dark-skinned chicks that look good in my life. <laughs> uh, God. Make sure you join me for the nightly news with Ock Nation. News you can choose. The only interactive news program on YouTube on 
Living Room Gangster. The link will be in the description box. Living Room Gangster. Okay. So this is funny, man. This chick said she only seen several dark-skinned exotic women. Beautiful dark-skinned exotic women. Now, listen. For a black person to say that means that there's there's a very lack of promotion on TV and in movies, which we know. But come on, in real life, come on, man. <laughs> in real life, like I rarely ever see a beautiful like you know like the women, the white women on TV and the movies and whatnot. I rarely see one of them in real life. Most of the white women I see in real life. I like Medagula, Angula. I don't, I rarely see like Farrah Fawcett or Kim Basinger in real life. Like, I just don't see it. At the club, nowhere. Now, I don't live in LA. Maybe in LA. I heard there's a lot of them in LA. New York, DC. You see some cute white women, but nah. Not like, not like, like you chase them across the street or nothing like that. Um, but it's very interesting that, you know, and I see this a lot, like, what you mean, man? Um, Lupita and Kelly Rowland, <laughs> like Kelly Rowland, light brown ass been holding down for dark skinned women for 60 years. <laughs> And that Lupita just came along a few years ago to get the, like, damn, like, so it's like, really? Lupita or Kelly Rowland? Is it? <laughs> I remember back in the day, Karen White, the the, the 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 singer Karen White. She was so beautiful. She never got any any kind of promotion. No, nothing, <laughs> nothing. I talk about nothing. Zilch zero. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, and, and it just, and it's on and on and on and on, you know, but uh, it, it, it's very funny, man, it's very funny um, how they, the only dark skin chicken back in the day that really got, was, got like promoted or, you know, and this is one form of promotion, if basketball players and football players want to get at you and all oh, stars want to get at you. Like that's how you tell who fine when you see the who who black people think are fine when you see the ball players and the actors the actors going after them. when they were acting that as Lupita for a date <laughs> listen they not feeling you they they not that into you man I hate to say this dark skin too. And when I say they, I, I mean, like, I, I dated a bunch of dark skin chicks. I loved the chocolate, you know, but I love it. But I know, like, I'd be around niggas and I'd be hearing their conversation, man. They not that into you, man. <laughs> and, uh, they not that into you, man. Okay. <laughs> they not that into you. I don't know how they say it any better than that. Like I've been in the sandbox with these niggas. Been parking lot pimping with these niggas. They not that into you, man. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> It's that type of thing. Like, look, it's not you, it's me. <sighs> so, like, keep protesting and shit. And getting hit with rubber bullets and shit. But when this shit is over, like, <laughs> and it ain't even over yet, right? And they already done fuck shit. They already told you shit. <laughs> These niggas don't have enough self-awareness to like wait till this shit is over. 
it's that deeply ingrained. They can't wait till it's over. They just like, fuck this shit. They so emboldened. Like y'all be talking about people emboldened by Trump. Listen. <laughs> the fact that every picture of somebody protesting is a dark skinned woman should let you know everything you need to know, what they think about your role. <laughs> your role is in the in the community. Okay? What your assigned status is. Just just chill out with all the browbeating conservatives. Like every time I see somebody beating down a conservative on Twitter, it's some dark skinned shit. George Every time you talk about babies getting shot in the street or <laughs> black on black crime, which accounts for 77,000 murders, and white on white crime, which accounts for 2,000 murders a year, there is a difference. There's a big difference. If one accounts for 7,000 murders and the other accounts for 2,000 and some change, they're not the same, especially when one group has 200 million and another group has 40 million. <laughs> They're not the same. Okay? So, whenever you talk about black on black crime or George Floyd ain't was a criminal or, uh, or uh, out in Sterling went to jail for raping a 14, a 13 year old um, or Orlando Castile was a crip and was not being pulled over for a traffic violation. He was being pulled over because he, he was a suspect in a robbery. He was not being pulled over for a traffic <laughs> violation. He was being pulled over because he was a suspect in a robbery. Whenever you say some of that shit, some dark skinned chick jumping up in your timeline when your replies brow beating you. These niggas don't even want you. <laughs> These niggas don't even want your ass. <laughs> it's always dark skin shit copping up. Don't say that about St. George. How dare you talk about Rashad Brooks, who went to jail for cruelty to children and just got out two months ago. He was already drunk driving. <laughs> With his white girlfriend. How dare you talk about Saint Rashad? It's always some dark skin girl. Cause I love speaking my opinion about these issues on Twitter. And it's always some dark skin chick about to read me the ride at. You nigga don't even want your dark skin ass. Just sad. It's fucked up, man. I think it's fucked up. Y'all some riders. <laughs> Y'all some riders. <laughs> Get the conversation, man.